there's a place in the woods called Aspen Ridge. This is where we call home. We are the Popple People. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for stopping by. In this episode, we work in our wood storage area at the Saw Shack build site. We're at the point now where we have a bunch of lumber milled up for the Saw Shack, but we need to start hauling it back into the woods to the actual build site. And then once we get it back there, we need a place to store it. Basically, we just need to keep it dry for now. So that lands us here, working on an area for wood storage. If you've watched our previous videos from earlier this summer, we did quite a bit of excavating with the crawler at the site. And we actually planned for and excavated a spot for wood storage down this corridor, adjacent to where the saw shack will be. But we discovered that it needed to be just a little bit wider than we thought. So this old girl rolled back here again for what is hopefully the last time. The lesson we ended up taking away from this one was measure twice, excavate once. Fingers crossed that this will work. So our plan for wood storage is to repurpose an old garage in a box. We got this a few years ago from one of the big box stores, set it up to store some siding in, and then once the siding was up, it just sat there until the tarp basically rotted off of it. And so we got sick of looking at the frame, so we disassembled it. So we already had that here by the shop, and we decided to utilize that frame and create something that we can cover our wood with. We had to drag these ribs back in the woods one by one. <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, but once all the parts were back here, we just had to reassemble the frame. This actually went easier than expected, so that was a pleasant surprise. But then again, we weren't starting from scratch. The big stuff was bolted together already, and we just had to connect it all together. So here's what we've got to work with, and it is another lovely day here at Aspen Ridge. Perfect fall weather for a project like this. The supervisor mostly just hung out in the office and enjoyed the weather while we worked. After all that putzing around, we ended up with one missing bracket. Not sure where that fell off, it's probably laying in the woods somewhere, but he ended up cobbling together something that should work just from random stuff that we had on hand at the shop. Well, here's what we ended up with. Looks like it'll work, right? Then we had to stake down all four corners. Although these rusty cables, they'll probably snap immediately if there's any significant wind back here. Picked up this circular saw at a rummage sale a few years back. There was no battery, so we took a gamble on it, not knowing if it even worked. We happened to have that size battery at home, so we tried it out, and it worked. Our gamble paid off. We decided to add some furring strips, since we had a bunch of one-by material, just left over from other milling projects. Had that on hand here. So we debated about just buying a replacement cover for this, and... Basically, considering how the original one held up, it just wasn't worth the money. We considered draping just a tarp over it, but then that became problematic because in the winter of snow builds up, it'll sink down between each rib, so we needed to make some modifications for this to work. And this is what we ended up with. Now, this is only a temporary solution just to keep out rain. Eventually, we'd like to cover this frame with something more permanent, like metal roofing or sheets of tin. For now, we just need something that's going to go up fast, keep our lumber dry until it gets installed. So that's where we're at for now. We found a tarp that was a fairly close fit, so we propped that up and fastened it with zip ties and bungee cords, because that's what we had on hand. The temporary cover of champions. leveled out just a few places on the floor and set down some old pallets, and then it was time to get some wood moved in. A 
If you'd like to get a hold of us with questions or comments, please email us at thepopplepeople, all one word, at gmail.com, or flip flop a comment below. We love hearing from you. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll get started with construction on the saw shack. Thanks so much for watching. We sure appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and want to follow our saw shack journey, please consider subscribing. That way, you can be a popple people too. We'll see you soon.